Alright YouTube, welcome to another episode of my Let's Play Test Drive Limited 2 series. As you can see, today I am driving an Alfa Romeo 8C Competizione, or something pronounced like that, and this is absolutely a beautiful car. I mean, this thing deserves to be displayed in a, uh, in a what do you call it, an art gallery. I mean, this thing is just amazing. The design of this car is amazing. Everything is amazing about it. Look at the back. So I'm going to start it up for you. Listen to the engine. Man, what an amazing engine sound. And it backfires too. That's what I love about it. Just listen to this thing. And there's a. He's got a Wiseman. Pretty cool car. Of course, here's the front with those cool little halo tail lights. Interior is fairly standard. Fairly standard for an Alfa Romeo. Of course, you probably guys know about this, but Alfa Romeo is going to be coming out with a new model. It's going to be called the 4C, which is pretty much it's almost exactly like this. The concept looks really, really cool. And uh, you probably know about this car, but this car is in the game Most Wanted, the new Most Wanted game. And you know, I actually have that car in that game. I should probably do a video on it. Because it's just so beautiful. I mean, it's just uh, almost as beautiful as this car. But this car is the best. The best looking Alfa Romeo in the game. Now, I said last episode that the Ferrari 458 is the best looking car. I said it's the best looking Ferrari actually, but it is the best looking Ferrari ever made. The second one. The first one is the Ferrari FF, which is also a really, really cool car. It's an off-roading car, not a sports car. It's a very cool car, but it's very, very difficult to drive as far as I've heard. It's easier to, it's much harder to drive than a Bentley Continental with four-wheel drive. The four-wheel drive system in the FF is really, really difficult to, to control because very very complicated it's very difficult to control the car on snow or whatever so pretty much you got to be a pro when you drive that thing now this car is completely fully tuned it's tuned up to level four so this thing will have a top speed of 204 miles an hour and that is quite fast for a car of this class but it's for but I don't know if you've seen one of my other episodes when I did uh, the video with Prepsy I talked to you about the 612 Scalier. That's actually the fastest car, A3 car in this game. It has a top speed of 204 or 200 and something. And that's pretty fast and it's completely stock. And there's nothing changed on it, it's completely stock. The fastest A3 untuned car in the game. And I guess my opportunity to bank 200 bucks. And just listen to this engine. And just listen to the downshift. I've never seen a real one like this because Alfa Romeos are really, really hard to come by in uh, the US. That includes the old Alfa Romeos and the new ones. Well, not they're not hard to come by. You just don't see them often here. People just don't want cars like these in California. They want other fancy cars like Ferraris or Maseratis. But for me, I like Maseratis quite a bit, but Alfa Romeos, I just, there's a special... There's something special about Alfa Romeos in, in real life, I and mean, there's really something special about them. So I'm going to show you where you can buy this car. Pretty much, you go to the Zonda store, Italian cars south or north. I think it was north, but anyway, so here it is. Here's the normal version, the Competizione, and then there's the Spider version. So they're both practically identical, except prices are different. The prices are a little different from each other. You can just look at this car, it's just fantastic. So I'm not going to actually buy it, I'm going to show you the options available. This is the standard rims, I highly recommend these rims because they look cool. I mean, there's, there's the optional rims. These are the best rims for the car. Then you get only three colors. You can basically get it any color you want, black, yellow, or red. I, for my preference, I like, I like uh, red. And then in the interior you have beige, black with red stitching, completely black. 
red with black stitching and then and then red again so this is a very good car for its class but it's a bit expensive it's a little it's a, a more than two hundred thousand dollars I mean that's quite expensive for an Alfa Romeo it's quite expensive but it's worth the money it's worth the money it's pretty good so yeah that's it for this episode thanks for watching bye